the strangest and most incredible records of the human body in the Guinness Book of Records. Everyone knows that the Guinness Book of Records includes a variety of records, so there are always enough oddities and absurdities in it. And the human body is no less amazing thing, and when it differs from the average, people start to set records with pleasure, demonstrating their unique differences. And in this issue you will learn about the top 10 strangest records of the human body. Before we continue don't forget to hit that like button also subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. Let's begin. Parnam Core. Parnam Core's journey to being confident in her own skin and body positivity saw many hurdles and societal bounds. For the unaware, Harnam started keeping a beard since the age of 16, four years after she was diagnosed with polycystic ovary syndrome (PCOS). Harnam Kaur, UK, first appeared in Guinness World Records 2017 as the record holder for the youngest female with a full beard. Now more than a decade later, she rocks her look, models and enjoys social media attention. The Indian origin British model has also given TED Talks, and is a body positivity activist. She was aged 24 years 282 days, when her record was confirmed on 7 September 2015. She's gone on to become, among other things, a freelance model and motivational speaker, spreading her message of body positivity and acceptance. We recently caught up with Harnam, now age 30, to discuss what life is like for her day to day, and to get the scoop on how she does her amazing eyeliner. Now Harnam embraces her identity with full flair. Harnam is quirky and funny, when it comes to her Instagram posts. Harnam Kaur also runs a popular YouTube account. For her vlogs, she visits various countries' delicious foods. Tran Van Hay Tran Van Hay made headlines around the world when he was already in his golden years. The Vietnamese man was 73 years old when a camera crew visited his home to document his incredible feature his seriously long hair. After falling severely ill, after cutting his hair at 25 years old, Hay decided never to cut his hair again. Over 50 years later, his hair was over 22 feet long, and weighed around 23 pounds. Though his hair was never officially measured by the Guinness Book of Records, Tran Van Hay was known as the man with the longest hair in the world. His wife, Nguyen, says her husband's physical transformation bled into his personality. The more his hair grew, the more he became inspired by the local Buddhist monks. He dedicated the rest of his life to curing people as an herbalist, and never charged his patients a dime. He was 79 and unfortunately passed away before receiving formal acknowledgement of his record. Even Duga. Some women do not want to say goodbye to 70 my years supporting their now unusual afro hairstyles and attracting everyone's attention. And even Duga has set a world record as the owner of the most voluminous hairstyle in afro style. Proud of her record-breaking afro, even Duga says her hair is inspiring legions of women to ditch chemical straighteners and go natural all over the world with a diameter of 1 meter, and 32 centimeters for it took. Even Duga, 20 years to grow such hair. To get her hair ready for a night out she shampoos it, and then uses up to 5 conditioners. The largest afro, female, is 24 centimeters tall, 25 centimeters wide, and 157 centimeters in circumference, and was achieved by Even Duga, Yase, in Louisiana, Yase, on 4 February 2021. Even previously held this record back in 2010, and has successfully now reclaimed her title. Maxwell Day A video showing the Guinness World Record holder for the largest foot rotation, showing off his skills, has been published online. Maxwell Day, a teenager from Enfield, London, can rotate his feet backwards by 157 degrees. Despite holding the title since 2015, Mr. Day was only entered into the infamous book this year. The 14-year-old speaks to Guinness World Records about how he became a record holder. He said, It comes very naturally to do the foot rotation, there's no pain or anything, it's just something that's very natural to me. I am now in a book which I have been looking at for years. The footage shows Maxwell turning his feet back with ease while posing for photographs. The flexible teenager has said he needs to wear insoles to keep his feet straight. Annie Hawkins Turner There are women who go to incredible things to get big chests including numerous life-threatening operations. There are women who born with exorbitant chest. In January 1999, and not Hawkins around the world at home known under the name of Norma Stitz set a world record. She is the owner of the largest natural chest in the world. Annie Hawkins Turner, 63, is internationally known, but not for any particular talent. She is famous for having the world's largest natural chest, with a size of 102 zzz. 
No, that's not a typo. She is a triple Z Annie. Currently holds the Guinness World Record for the largest natural chest in the world, weighing in at 89.6 pounds. But not all has been glitz and glamour. Annie suffers from a condition known as gigantomastia, a rare disease of the chest connective tissue that causes excessive growth. Here chests are now heavier than the average 11-year-old child. Annie's unique physique continues to intrigue people around the world. Her next stop. Moscow, Russia where she will be appearing in a late-night talk show. Sumo Moaning. A woman with a tiny waist has claimed her extraordinary proportions are simply the result of her natural slenderness. Student Sumo Moaning, of Myanmar, claims to have a waist with a circumference of only 13.7 inches, which is believed to be one of the smallest in the world. The 23-year-old often shares photos of her extreme hergless figure on Instagram, where she has faced accusations of photo editing and taking drastic measures like rib removal or corseting to maintain such a slim physique. But Sue has defended herself, insisting she does not edit her photos and eats healthily. She claimed her waist is simply down to her genetics. The NHS suggests people aim for a healthy waist size of 31.5 inches or less, However, she has undergone a lifetime of waist training, wearing corsets on a regular basis, in order to shape her midriff. Other women with similarly small waists have confessed to having ribs removed in order to achieve the shape. It is understood Sue's waist size has not been independently verified. Some of her photos do appear to show editing around the waist, although she denies this to be the case. The majority of the comments on her photographs are positive, with fans praising her beautiful look. Zhang Rufang an elderly Chinese woman has stunned her family and fellow villagers by growing from her forehead a horn that resembles a goat's. Grandmother Zhang Rufang, 101, of Henan province, began developing the mysterious protrusion last year. Since then it has grown 2.4 inches in length, and another now appears to emerging on the other side of the mother of seven's forehead. The condition has left her family baffled and worried. Although, it is unknown what the protrusion is on Mrs. Zhang's head, it resembles a cutaneous horn. This is a funnel-shaped growth, and although most are only a few millimeters in length, some can extend a number of inches from the skin. Cutaneous horns are made up of compacted keratin, which is the same protein we have in our hair and nails, and forms horns, wool and feathers in animals. They usually develop in fair-skinned elderly adults who have a history of significant sun exposure, but it is extremely unusual to see it form protrusions of this size. The growths are most common in elderly people, aged between 60 and the mid-70s. They can sometimes be cancerous, but more than half of cases are benign. Cutaneous horns can be removed surgically, but this does not treat the underlying cause. Mehmet Azurek Guinness World Records shared one of the profiles of a competitor's back in the day on Sunday, a Turkish man whose nose was recorded to be the longest features on a human face. Mehmet Azurek, from Turkey, appeared on a television show on March 18, 2010, called Low Show Day Record, where his nose was measured to be the longest. His nose was measured to be 8.8 centimeters long. However, the authority on records further reported that this might not be the longest nose ever lived, because there are reports from 1770s that suggest an English circus star by the name Thomas Wetters had a 19 centimeters long nose. John Line Bacus. John Line Bacus of Talise, Cebu is dealing with a huge problem. Hers is so extraordinary that it involves not seeing her own toes anymore. What she carries are her huge chest, as big as balls of basketball. The 24-year-old mother of two. She researched on John Line's condition on how this created a life full of problems and challenges for her and her family, including the end of her third child due to meningitis. Activities of daily living for her had become a burden as well, because of the limitation her condition had brought her. Even lying down creates a challenge that results to a lot of discomfort. John Line was diagnosed with chest mastitis the first time she consulted the doctors. She's usually skinny, but when she noticed that her chest were weirdly growing in size despite finishing the seven-day course of the antibiotic given to her then. This altered her lifestyle a lot. She can't cook, do the laundry, and would need help in taking a bath as well. And her condition induces heat over time as compared to a normal person would feel during an ordinary day. Hans Langseth the Norwegian immigrant from the United States, Hans Langseth, was able to grow his beard to a length of 5 meters 66 centimeters. His beard descended below his legs and wrapped around his shoulders. Hans led an ordinary farmer's life and was famous for his giant beard. Hans Langseth, King Whiskers, as he was called, who holds the record for the world's longest beard, 18 feet 6 inches long. After he's passed away in 1927, 
One of his sons be cut off his beard living in the face of the deceased. A small part of her beard was donated to the Smithsonian Institute. While Langs's beard has never undergone such tests, keeping it on hand remains an important part of the museum's mission. Plus, it's a worthy boast, being home to the Hope Diamond and the world's longest beard. Thank you for watching my video until the last second. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell to watch many more interesting videos.